Commonwealth, Commonwealth, the former empire now Commonwealth. Is it relevant? Probably not. But why not give this part a shot? Stay tuned. Here comes Uncommonwealth, the podcast. And we're live from the Uncommonwealth Podcast Woo! Studios here in Midtown Manhattan. I'm Adam. I'm here with my co-host, Piers, Catherine, and Jimmy. Woo. Hey, hey. Hey, Adam. Let's get right to it. All right. So uh, listeners of the show will remember that last week's episode, we discussed a world record champion from Australia, uh, Lou, Lou Brown. The What did you call him, Piers? Sheep shearing sensation. You said that so well. Thank you. I've been practicing this for a week. <laughs> <laughs> So in the in the week since our last episode, I've looked into some other pretty impressive world records held by Australians, and I want to tell you what some of them are. The first one, and I think arguably the most impressive, is the world's longest handshake. <laughs> oh, Australians are so bored. So just first off, how long do you think the world's longest handshake is, Catherine? I'm always... Too long. <laughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> everyone's had that boss that holds on for a little too long. 48 hours. Okay, Piers? How do they know it was the longest? Uh, I mean... Stopwatch, maybe? <laughs> I'd say eight days. Eight days? Oh, what gonna... the hell? How is that possible? <laughs> I was going to go with four days. How... You what go are they... to the bathroom together. You, you, wear, guys... you wear a diaper. And you sleep. When people do this shit, they go all They go all in. Oh, okay, yeah. well, you yeah. guys have all overshot the mark by a long way. <laughs> what is it? It's 12 hours. Uh, wait, guys. Not, not that impressive. A, you want to beat that? Right wow. now? <laughs> Eight days, Piers. <laughs> yeah. In your mind, how did that work? Eight days of... <laughs> do I have to keep going up and down? Oh, it's a handshake. Of course. Oh. Okay, so anyway, <laughs> I'll tell you, this is just the uh, the, the people you who saw, You this. bummed out that we all <laughs> over guess, so you it's not that you impressive. <laughs> 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 you seem so disappointed. <laughs> I am. It's, you were expecting people to be like three hours? Exactly. Well, you know when you're Pierce, like, uh, Pierce well, opens it up with eight days. <laughs> is, there, is there a definition that it, where it says they were shaking up and down? Because maybe it could just be like... Is well, holding hands? I mean, some people don't. They do a shake at the beginning, but then they hold. One handshake yes. has a shake at the beginning and then a hold. It's got an up-down so pump. So it could just have a... An- <laughs> <laughs> up down pump. Did you have to say pump? Up down, up, down pump followed by a squeeze up, followed by a hole. Up down pump is Bruno Mars's B side track. <laughs> what if you're an up pumper and the person you're shaking with is a down pumper? Oh. Have you ever done the su- Is there a side? <laughs> like a saw? That's not a thing. No one does that, right? Oh, Trump does. He does all, the whole he pulls pull them in. No, I don't know. Like, okay, so they. But the, the, I think the best thing about this. Um, Other than this, the length of its. <laughs> this world okay. record is that these guys, they were just like regular fellas. One of them was like a, a researcher at a they university. They were professionals? No, the, <laughs> I know, it's so surprising, right? That they pulled off this incredible feat. And he was shearing his sheep at the same time that he was shaking hands. Uh, Is this Lou Brown again? <laughs> Lou Brown. What, Honestly, what can what he, he do? do? Oh, man. Uh. So one one of them was a university researcher, the other was uh. an electrician and their friends, and they just identified like a gap in the world record market and said, let's do it. The podcast. I was very excited because I got an email from a viewer and it was specifically, well, it was like to me kind of because I'm the, their favorite on the podcast, obviously. Um, <laughs> I think Lou Dobbs, the sheep shearer, is now an honorary podcast member and favorite. Wait, isn't Lou Dobbs the guy that does a TV show? Wait, Lou Brown is who I meant to say. <laughs> Who's Lou Dobbs? <laughs> Dear Uncommonwealth Podcast, my name is Melissa. I live in Forget, Saskatchewan, though I was born in the beautiful town of Flin Flon, Manitoba. I've always lived in small places. Forget has only 40 residents, and seven of them are my (laughs) (laughs) ex-husbands. Other than that, (laughs) it's really lovely here. What's it like to live in the Big Apple where you're completely anonymous and no one cares about you? So the actual question is, what's it like living in the Big Apple where you're anonymous? You're anonymous, because she lives... With all her ex-husbands. Have you you ever lived in a small town? She sounds like a big deal. She's married a third of the... I think she does sound... She's She's probably rich. She says she likes it. She's taken half of someone's stuff seven times. Seven times. (laughs) Or they've taken half of her stuff. That's fair. Forget has only 40 residents. I've, no, I've never at least one small... gold digger. <laughs> <laughs> How many of them were related? But have, have you, you, you lived in a small town, right, Catherine? Uh, no, my family's from small mm. town Saskatchewan. Most of it, Saskatchewan is small towns. And I, I spent my summers in a small lake town in northern Saskatchewan. So, you know, I think it's, it's so different than being anonymous here in the city. 
See, this I mean, is like a thing where you, you go down to the local bakery and everyone, everyone knows, knows who you knows are. You. Yeah, imagine. They know, they know what you've been up to. Right. If one person in that town didn't like me, I'd have to leave. Oh, 100%. So if you could never be in a small town. If one person out of 40 didn't, no. That's I think assuming people... that I'm unlikable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, only one. That's Pierce. why you have to live in New York. When I just no think it's interesting because we're so used to the anonymity here. But the, one of the biggest things about small towns is that everyone knows who you are. They know your whole story. You mm. cannot escape your past. So what's Tinder like in these small towns? Then? <laughs> you got to expand that radius. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Do they even have it? I went on a seven-hour drive for my first date. Well, I mean, you've she dated half the town from the sounds of things. What's her name? Melissa. Melissa. There are. Like, we only think there are a lot of attractive people in the world because we're in New York. Right, but right. if you leave New York, like, if you're the one attractive person in... Right, that's true. Forget Saskatchewan. Yeah, I wouldn't leave. That's it. Pierce is speaking from experience. <laughs> <laughs> I am moving to somewhere where I am more attractive. You guys Lou, aren't taking this seriously at all. Do they have, a, do they have a comedy club? I can't, Lou Brown would be a big deal on Lou, Forget Saskatchewan. Oh, so, so would Lou Dobbs. <laughs> <laughs> Is Lou Dobbs still alive? I don't know. I haven't been following. Next segment, luckily, is Lou Watch. Let's forget about this. (laughs) Let's move on. (laughs) I thought we took it seriously. The podcast. (laughs) All right, everyone. I'd like to play a little game I call Flag and Gag. Okay. (laughs) Flag and Gag? Flag flag and Gag? Where I show you some uh, flags and we call some specials. (laughs) We we told you last week this is an audio podcast. Uh, well, no, we're going to describe the flags, but you right. guess which. <laughs> Riveting podcast material. Describe the flag. Next next segment is charades. We play with the listeners. All right. All right. Describe let's do, let's do fl- flag. Let's flag and flag and, and what? Flag and gag. The, flag old, and gag. the old flag and gag. What flag? Oh, black and white flags. <laughs> What flag do you think this is, and what Commonwealth country do you think this is? I think it's Barbuda. Okay, so it's a sun rising out of blue. A sun rising out of a blue line, a triangle with some red on the side. I don't even need to see the flag to know that my guess is Barbuda. <laughs> <laughs> Jimmy? I, I don't even know the countries to even uh, begin guessing. Well, we know. need to get on that. There's 54. Uh, 53. 54, I believe, um, according to Commonwealth.org. Have we expanded since the Say first episode? country. The odds are good. Yeah. Uh, Vanuatu. Vanuatu? No. So, oh, I'm not meant to reveal are we supposed to? Jimmy? Are we supposed to just keep guessing until we get right. it? It is Antigua and Barbuda. <laughs> it is Barbuda! Uh, <laughs> uh, we should have known. So everybody knows. A competition Barbuda. to design the flag was held in which more than 600 local people entered. The winning design was put forth by nationally well-known artist and sculptor Sir Reginald Samuel. Oh, Reggie. Good old Sir Reginald. <laughs> Sir Reginald. Uh, you know who should be knighted? The, Lou. Lou Dobbin. Lou, no, <laughs> yeah, Lou Brown. Yeah. Lou Brown. <laughs> the rising sun symbolizes the dawn of a new era. The colors uh, have different means. The black is for Af- African ancestry of the people. The blue for hope. The red for energy and the life of the people. That what? is actually a beautiful flag. Yeah. Yeah. More What's so your than... opinion on uh, tattoos of the flag? On a, oh, on, like a... Yeah, when people get... Because in, in Australia, a lot of people get tattoos of the Southern Cross, which is a star constellation only visible in the Southern Hemisphere. So a lot of people get that tattooed, but it's also seen by the rest of the country as a very trashy thing to do. Where do they get it? Uh, Around their body. All over. Do they ever get a tattoo of the <laughs> toilet flushing the other way? <laughs> like an animated tattoo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does a that gym? work? Uh, but, <laughs> all right, next flag. Which uh, we are looking at a green and then a red and then a yellow stripe with a yellow Can this be star the last in flag? the middle. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's I think that's uh, Barbuda's previous flag. You're trying to trick us. Uh, I love that flag. It's I'm going to say flag. Vanuatu. <laughs> <laughs> Can't be Barbuda again. Jamaica. Uh, what's the What's the African? It's an It's a Commonwealth country at the top of Africa. I can't remember its name. At the top. Oh, no one be dumb here. Right. Don't say anything. Okay. What is it? I, I, Cameroon. Cameroon. Oh, yeah. As if we were all close. We're like, oh. All right. No one's enjoying this game. Maybe we have time for... A... <laughs> no, this was great. Well, we were trying to learn about Cameroon. <laughs> yeah, do you have a, fun, a, very, a fun fact about Cameroon? Very th- fun thing to say about Pakistan in the next one. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> you just gave away your next flag. <laughs> do you do you ever struggle not calling someone 
whose name is Cameron Cameroon, because I sub- never had that problem. Never I sometimes do that. Okay, well, that's a me thing, I guess. Are there two O's? Yes. Do you... No, but like... Just like when you're Cameron. drunk, you go, Cameroon! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like a fun way to... It's a fun way to Jimmy's say Jimmy's a name. great drunk name. You see a buddy called Jimmy, like, Jimbo! Yeah. yeah. Jimbo. Yeah. Jimbo. I, I speak about myself a lot. Of Catherine! The, but... <laughs> no, no, no one likes... Work. The podcast... Okay, let's do uh, the, I, I want to do a two truths and a lie. Here's Adam with two truths and a lie. And sometimes they're all lies. New uh, lie. Let's do, we'll do, we'll do a two truths and a lie. Strange laws from the Commonwealth, the New Zealand edition. Mule dog. That's a good one. New Zealand. Two truths and a lie. First, and these are laws. Do you want to see <laughs> the flag for New Zealand? No, I do not see any more flags. <laughs> <laughs> You can't. You you started with Barbuda. There was no way you could. <laughs> you could not get out of that. All right. So Reginald Mul- right. So okay. So two two truths in one. New Zealand. Uh, number one: No person shall make any loud or disturbing noise near whales. Two: It is illegal to have nuclear weapons. <laughs> that's, that's fair. That's totally fair. Three: New Zealand is a law that bans the carriage of roosters in hot air balloons. <laughs> oh God! This is a good one, Adam. These. Uh, Okay, so the first ones, you can't disturb whales. No loud or disturbing noises near whales. Oh. I don't know how they define near. I think that's I true. I think that's true. Because how whale watching is a big part of I, tourism. I really want it to be carriage of roosters, but I think that's that's not true. I really, yeah, I really want that to be true. But. So what, there's a law that prohibits carrying roosters in hot air balloons? The carriage. There's a roosters. law that bans the carriage of roosters in hot air balloons. I think it would be the carrying. Well, carriage is a car- is a. Or it could be the transportation, like the illegal uh, transportation. Maybe this came from an era of smuggling via. <laughs> roosters, <laughs> roosters, <laughs> smuggling. That'd be That's a great a movie. The That's roosters, a good name. <laughs> it's a good roosters, title. Rooster smuggling. Yeah. Uh, uh, see, the middle one is the. You, it's illegal to own nuclear weapons. That's a law that you can see being true, but it's also. I'm going to say that's the that's the lie. The carriage of nuclear no, no, weapons the, the, in the, hot air whatever balloons. Lives. I'm saying the nuclear weapon is not a true law, and that the other two are true New Zealand laws. Okay, is everyone else? Yeah, I'm going carriage. We just roosters. like the answer now. Okay, the the <laughs> the, 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 uh, the it, they do have a law that it's illegal to have nuclear ah, weapons. That's so, smart, smart. So, but uh, <laughs> the, not New Zealanders. The roosters and air balloons is is not true. Not true. Not true. I think, um, were you saying nuclear weapons and air balloons? Well, I mean, maybe that's maybe that's how this all comes together. <laughs> oh, it's in an it's in an air balloon. It's fine. All right, let's do another. Let's do another. Let's do another uh, two truths and lie <laughs> laws. We're just going to do Canada, and these are provincial laws. So I'll say which province it applies to. And again, it's two truths and a lie. Okay. So in British Columbia, it is illegal to kill a Sasquatch. In Alberta, it's illegal to set fire to the leg of a wooden legged man. <laughs> 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 and three, three in Manitoba, every zoo must have at least three mongoose. Mongoose, isn't it? Didn't we? I don't know. I thought we covered this. Mongoose, mongoose. Every zoo must have th- at least three. Is illegal. In every zoo must have at least three mongoose. What was the first one? In British Columbia, it's illegal to kill a Sasquatch. That's not true because they don't exist. Yeah, but I mean, during during the time where we thought they might, wildlife right. preservation. Oh, Peter maybe, was. Maybe they haven't repealed it. Maybe yeah. they do. And then just to repeat the second one, in Alberta, it's illegal to <laughs> say fire to the leg of a wooden leg. I think that's true. That's, that's gotta be true. That sounds like something that, you do up if there. It isn't that can't true, be true. If it isn't, it that's happened definitely once. definitely true. It happened once. <laughs> and and, and Gary, made a law. Gary has been quietly and they had loudly so much fun doing it. <laughs> they had to Gary was like, never again. <laughs> uh... I th- that can't, I, I'm voting that can't be true. Which one? The wooden leg on fire. Okay, you're voting for wooden leg is the lie. That's, a, uh, that's fake. Catherine? Tr- that one's true. Uh, what are the other ones? Killing the Sasquatch. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. Sa- Sasquatch is fake. Okay, and you're going Same with... Same Sasquatch. The, uh, the lie is the mongoose. Wow. wow. You yeah. lol... Wait, so you, it is so illegal you, to kill a Sasquatch <laughs> in British Columbia. That is a law that's on the books. And, and it's illegal to... To like, set the set one there, leg in Alberta. You can't sucks. set the... Do we know the case that that came from, that law? Oh, no. that, I want to know about that. Can, can we look bring into that it? next episode? We can look into can that. We, look we into can look into that, yeah. Well, in Commonwealth countries, they represent any case against the Crown as R, like versus Smith. Yes. So obviously it's a pirate. Like yeah. R, but... I don't know. What For the 
Is he got a squabble and the guy and yeah, just set his leg on fire? Yeah. So is it? Well, can you can you set a uh, like there's, a non wooden leg? What if it's inland a inland pirate? What about these a these fleshy leg? <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about a modern day prosthetic. That's what about an arm? Some kind of silicon based uh, prosthetic. Well, well, do they are they flammable? Well, I don't no. know. I don't think you see can... the thing is there are probably a lot of wooden legs. You could coat it and... in a sort of flammable leg. The prosthetics these days, no one's walking around with a like a pirate's leg. No. That's laws stay around for a yeah. long time. Yeah. Laws are fun. Laws are interesting. Laws are great. All right, cool. That was great. The podcast. Let's uh let's we should wrap we should do a wrap up. Uh, MVP right. title yeah. ideas for the episode. Jimmy. Yeah. What was there was a great one earlier, but I can't remember what it, what it was. Rooster it was, smuggling? No, there's something in your segment, Pierce. What, was it, um, what did Pierce say? No one cares about flags. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that gets Can we be done now? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll, vo- I'll vote for Catherine MVP then for appropriately asking Pierce to close out <laughs> his, his, his visual based flag segment. <laughs> What was uh, it called? Flag or gag? Flag and gag. <laughs> the sure old get, flag and gag. Just make sure you pronounce the L. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word Jimmy couldn't pronounce earlier? It sounded like... Okay. Uh, Catherine, who, what's, your, what's your vote? I, there was something that in the flag segment for it the was. name. Um, Cameroon. Oh, Cameroon. That's it. Cameroon. Wait, like that can't have been it. Or, yeah, it was. Like, Cameroon it was, for Cameron? Cameroon. Like drunk Cameroon. <laughs> drunk Cameron. Cameroon. All right. Yeah. Um, I vote for Pierce. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah